Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the Scribbles brush pack for Particle Shop in Photoshop. Um, this brush pack comes with 15 brushes just like the others. All of them are listed here. You can take a look at what, what each one is named. And I'm going to go ahead and go down the list of brushes and show you what these brushes do that it comes with. We're going to take a look at each one. There's a lot of them to go through, so forgive me if I have to adjust one to get it to do its thing. So first we're going to look at the circles. This one is really fun. Circles looks like something you make a stroke with. You certainly can, uh, but what it actually does is if you hold your brush down, it makes some really cool circular movement in really random places. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I like to do, and that's color pick with them and then make a slight adjustment until we get something interesting going on there. And it does some cool stipples too, but there we go. See, that makes a really cool effect that you can use. Uh, for not just this, but any picture, you know, uh, any kind of picture. This is a good picture to add some scribbles to, but, um, uh, you know, these kind of apply with distorting anything in a really cool, fun way. Uh, darken is going to be, so this is a brush, so if I want to darken an area, but I want it to be a little chaotic, kind of like an airbrush, but not quite. We've got a lot of interesting texture there, um, or even if you want to use it as something that softens things up, it still maintains that stipply, scribbly effect there. So let's go ahead and go back here to Flick. Flick is really fun. I recommend uh, color picking with it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to zoom in a little more. Forgive me, it's a little pixelated here. I'm going to go ahead and color pick right here. And this kind of helps you add some little flicks of chaos there. And you can make it smaller so that you can kind of justify making some larger strokes there, some longer ones. But you see how I'm kind of distorting the tree. And what these brushes are good for is this kind of distortment without actually ruining the picture. You can add to its composition. It does an interesting and natural enough thing that it doesn't look ugly. Uh, so for example, the graphite here, I can, I can take this and rub this around and it's going to act as kind of a poked in softener. I'm going to go back, but you can kind of see how that would act. Let's just go ahead and see what it looks like white over here. You can see it's really just a disperse, just a chaos that's really smooth. So I recommend uh, taking it and spinning it around a little bit. Helps soften selected areas out uh, while maintaining kind of a chaotic, um, unintentional feel. There we go. That's pretty cool, even though it just took out part of the beautiful part of the picture there. It's back that out a little bit so we can do more. So heavy is pretty fun. I recommend kind of just putting this on a black or a, a dark, maybe not quite jet black. I always try to stay away from that. And it's just a nice controlled thick line and you can break up your picture with this. And if you do it right on the right photo and use a little color picking, you can kind of make it look like it's really part of the picture. If, uh, oops, did I not pick that color I wanted? There we go. There we go, and I can kind of blend things in. And I could probably get really detailed with that if I wanted to spend more time with it. But this is a fun brush. It's got a nice lag to it, nice pressure sensitivity, and it's good for making some big, bolder parts of some scribbling action there. So scramble is going to take your picture, and of course it's going to scramble it. But if you take it and hold it down, you can apply it in places that's just going to look like it's kind of rushing off. There we go. That does definitely a cool effect. Scratch. Let's take a look at scratch. This one, oop, I don't think I meant for that to be this big. If there's a soft part of your picture but you want to mess some things up, just take that on a small level there and it looks like a photo scratch that you can scribble into it. There we go. It's fun that all these brushes kind of do require you to scribble a little, any particle for that matter, uh, but especially this pack. So let's look at scribble here. This one has got a nice stroke of lines here. Let's. I want to make it kind of visible so you can see it. This one just adds some really cool, just, you know, sometimes, especially uh, I think as I've gotten older, it's harder to make the chaotic stuff um, 
but this definitely makes some organic chaotic scribbles that kind of can that have a nice flow to them adds to your composition instead of takes away from it uh, as my scribbles would so let's look at shape here and this one is pretty fun because if I want to block out a shape in a scribble I can make this small or big the bigger I make it the wider apart those lines are going to be but the smaller they're going to be closer together so I'm going to choose kind of an in-between and I'm going to just run this and make a shape with it and it kind of adds that scribble effect to any part of your picture just by tracing over it this is going to be a brush one of those brushes that I spend just a couple seconds too long on because I can't get away from it it's really fun to play with uh, especially again with using a little color selection uh, with the color picker there so slice is pretty fun it's very uh, faint but if you do it right you can really get some cool effects with this one and you can kind of your work will slice in and out of each other in and out of itself excuse me and you'll just turn the count up if you want it more dense or the opacity Oh, let's just keep the there we go maybe I did it too much on both there but you can kinda of see how that would be useful and if I wanna take some of the darker color and then slice it back through that's a cool way to add some scribbles we've kinda of got some cool effects going on over here as I'm leaving them around um, and I'm not even putting that much work into it so smear is gonna be pretty fun this you can take a part of your picture and smear it away but it has a nice taper to the end of it uh, so that it kind of helps you to create more of an effect than you know than just going and painting your your picture away with might as well just use some finger paint if you're not using something like this so this helps you to create that smeary effect especially if you if you take it and you do it throughout part of the picture you can really get some cool effects going there um, let's look at soften here soften is pretty nice it's gonna help you to soften up an area so if I have a rough part of the picture let's say down here and I just want to color pick and soften that up but maintain a scribbly look a grungy effect well this is really good for that as you can see as I put that in it's gonna leave enough texture anywhere that I put it but also soften up the picture it works a little differently than it does in painter essentials but it definitely does its intention so let's look at stipple here and this one is pretty fun if I take a black I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it around and you can throw this in intentional places or unintentional places um, this one is really fun to play with again going back and forth between values there we go you can definitely see what that does that's almost like throwing some pepper or salt down on your page uh, mess it up a little um, stroke this one it looks like you could use it as like a big you know, I could color pick part of that tree um, there's a couple brushes that do similar things like that but this one's intention is to be a brush let's mess up the house a little more because that's our thing that's that we've really got going here this is to add some really cool gritty but graphite like strokes there we go and we'll add them through the walls there now I'm kinda of going overboard with this house but it still looks pretty cool and the last one is gonna be tangent and this is a brush that I think that almost every particle pack needs is one of these shell like creators with its own little nature and what this is gonna be is just to add some composition to your picture so that help maybe it's and let's put some over here I can definitely back out of this so if I go like this the cool thing about particle shop is this eraser here it, it does a pretty good job of keeping the original image so that I can back out anywhere I want so if I want to make that in the background I'd go like this now I've got all this going on here uh, otherwise so I'm going to take out a little more than just that but I can go back up and touch it up with some other cool chaotic brushes if I want and uh, these brushes are I think I'm going to use them for my actual uh, personal sketches because I think they'll help 
uh, define and undefine my picture as I like or need. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is uh, these are the 15 brushes here it comes with. And I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with this. Thank you very much. Thank you.